Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the number of elements using this rule. Um, the rule that we have here says that the number uh, that are in A or B is equal to the number just in A plus the number just in set B minus the number that are in both A and B. So if you remember, the U um, represents the union and it's read as or. The upside down U represents the intersection and it is read as and. So um, the number in A or B is equal to the number just in A plus the number just in B minus the number in both. So what we have here is in a recent survey, 30 people spoke Spanish, 15 speak people spoke French, and six spoke both Spanish and French. So we wanna find out how many people speak either Spanish or French. So what we're going to do is we're going to let set A be the number that speaks Spanish. We're going to let B be the number that speaks French. And then remember that A and B is those that speak both. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the formula up here that's given to us. Um, the number in A or B is equal to the number just in A plus the number just in B minus the number that are in both A and B. So let's go through and find that information. It tells us up here that 30 people speak just Spanish. So for this one, it's going to be 30. So we would just say um, that we have 30 plus, then we would look at the number that speak just French. So our next one is just French. So we have 15 minus the number that speak both. So it says that six of them speak both. And then we would simply do the math. 30 plus 15 would give us 45. 45 minus six would give us 39. So we can say that based on this survey that we did, 39 people speak Spanish or French. So this is a very easy rule that looks complicated. Um, just if you break it down, it's a very, very simple rule. Remember that this is or, this is and. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.